Welcome back to another very exciting episode of Modded Motors. Today, we're gonna be talking about, throw it at me, a uh, rear diffuser that we're supposed to be putting on uh, today. Um, so yeah, let's just talk about it. You I'm be, oh. on this channel, we're always honest and transparent, and we're gonna be honest and transparent about this piece right here. So you are not getting an install video today, but we are gonna talk about the rear, rear diffuser. So, for everything that we've installed up until this point, they're pretty common parts that are replicated. Uh, the carbon fiber hood, as you guys saw, really nice piece. Very, very close to OEM fitment, just a little bit of gappage, pretty, pretty, pretty spot on. Carbon fenders, I was ecstatic with the fitment of those. Um, really happy with the way they look, really happy with the way they fit on. Very, very close to OEM, if not better gappage in some areas than OEM. Obviously yeah. exhaust, mm -hmm. like butter. I mean, everybody makes exhaust, right? Fits very easily. Yeah. Uh, the last thing we installed was the fiberglass front bumper, which you guys saw us do last week. The fitment was actually pretty decent. Um, there's four points where it just doesn't line up, which is the top, where, right where the bumper um, and the fender meet. We're pretty much on both sides, right where the bumper and fender meet. It didn't really line up, but it's very fixable. You can throw some screws in there and make it work. So if you guys ever saw us run the old QV diffuser that was on our rear bumper that was from China, just like the rest of this kit, uh, and the fitment just wasn't right in the edges. Pretty much everything else lined up, but the edges just, they couldn't get it right. Um, and they had like glued on um, reflectors. It just was kind of a weird fitment. To you guys, you guys never saw it in pictures or most of you guys didn't pay attention. To me, it drove me absolutely insane. Uh, and I, I that's the whole reason I really went with the GTM kit because I didn't want to <laughs> I don't want that horrible fitment anymore So when we bought this diffuser it was supposed to come with the rear bumper and the rear diffuser together So I thought it was gonna be a little bit of a better fitment and when we went to test fit the other day running into the same issues um, not the same issues, but the bumper is even worse fitment if you will um, and in order to get it to work, I'm gonna have to do a lot of body work. And then if you guys see this rear diffuser, <clears throat> from an OEM GTAM, good? Yeah, okay. These fins are a lot bigger and they go a lot longer. And a lot of manufacturers that make this, like Alfisim and other ones, they're, they don't sell the whole bumper, they just sell the diffuser piece as a replacement to a QV bumper. And it's a really nice piece. This is clearly half-assed. As I mean, you can clearly tell it was literally half-assed. <laughs> <laughs> um, so it doesn't go all the way down. It's not very aerodynamic. This is really just an aesthetic piece for all types of purposes. It's real carbon, but it is, you know, um, you know, it is, it is an aesthetic piece. Personally, um, this may work for a lot of people, and I think it will work uh, for a lot of other people that want to run this bumper. Personally, for me, I'm, I've we've invested so much time and money into this to get it right that I'm gonna go with and buy a OEM QV bumper. I already have it. Eric Alphamont is gonna be picking it up for me. Um, an OEM QV bumper, and we're gonna be doing a much better piece than that one right there. What that means is it's gonna be a little bit of a delay, meaning we're gonna probably send this car off to paint, and we're gonna have to wait for that QV diffuser to come in the mail from another manufacturer. Who are we going with at this point? There's only really two options in my head, or three options. Alfisimo is number one, can Alfisimo hook us up? And um, <laughs> the next one would be Paris 5, and if not them, back to China, I guess. <laughs> uh, which I really want to avoid, but um, not, nothing against them. Uh, their carbon pieces, for whatever, are always really nice. I just would rather have guaranteed fitment, especially if I'm gonna, I, w I just want guaranteed fitment, especially if I'm gonna spend the money. I don't wanna really want to go through, oh, it's bad again, I have to go sell it and go get another one. So. I know I just shit on this thing, but if you guys want to buy it, <laughs> <laughs> it's gonna be for sale here in the area. Again, it's gonna work for most people, but for us, what we're trying to accomplish, it isn't gonna come out right. There's a reason I didn't get the stick on side skirts. Would have been fine for most people, but for us, we wanted the direct replacements. Every, like I said, everything from the, the front clip forward has been perfect, exhaust, everything has been really, really well put together, really well thought out. I don't know what it is about China, <laughs> and they can't get the rear bumper um, to have like that, that perfect fitment like they did with the fenders. Like the fenders were perfect. Um, so again, I, I, it's not gonna be for me. Um, and this is one of the main reasons why I didn't tell you guys what manufacturer to purchase from. Cause I know in the comments you guys are saying, Ricky, where'd you get this? Ricky, tell us, tell us the manufacturer, Ricky. I get it. <laughs> you guys wanna know cause you guys wanna buy it for your car. But here's the bad thing with being an influencer to this capacity. Um, 
when you guys watch the videos, you guys assume that I have affiliation with whoever I'm talking about. And that's just, this is not true. Um, some, may, some people may send us out parts or they may support the channel and help us out with discounts, but we're not affiliate. We're not like partners with them. So I know when we ran your compulsion, I would get tons of questions trying to diagnose your compulsion. When I talked about Squadra, I got a ton of questions about how to diagnose Squadra. I'm like, hey, you know, I, I try to help to the best of my ability, but I'm just a normal dude like you guys. Um, and even at that, when you guys wanted to buy stuff from Alfisimo, reach out to me to build the order. <laughs> I gotta send you back to Alfisimo, right? Um, and again, the same thing with Ideal, right? You guys are starting to ask questions about that. I, I'm more than happy to help. I'm always here to answer your guys' questions. You guys reach out and you guys assume that I have affiliation. So if things go wrong, you also message me. So I didn't want you guys to buy this kit without me testing the fitment. And you guys come back and say, hey, Ricky, this thing doesn't fit. It's fiberglass. It's not working right. Why did you recommend us to that place? I didn't want that type of smoke. Wasn't even gonna put myself in that in that box because um, I already knew what that was gonna come with. <laughs> if you guys haven't checked out the Modern Wear site, you guys is number one stop shop now for Alfa Romeo merch parts. I don't know, but we are now selling um, the fenders, the rear fenders, the hood. The exhaust is not on there, but eventually the exhaust will come up once we get some pricing set for it. And so you can now purchase those items with shipping included from our website. There's gonna be two things that you guys clearly don't see on the website, which is the front bumper and the rear bumper. Now I told you guys from the very beginning, we never intended on selling the full kit and exactly why I never intended to sell the full kit is exactly what happened with that rear bumper. I didn't want fitment issues and problems and I didn't want to put my name on that. So we won't be selling the full kit. However, if you email us, we can build you an order for the rear bumper uh, or the front bumper with the caveat of Take it to a professional body shop for perfect fitment if you want to go take it to that row which is going to cost some extra money but on the other end selling you guys parts from a modded wear the modded wear account modded wear has definitely took a turn and is not just a merch store anymore we're now gonna be selling parts of it we actually also have strut bars that will be coming in pretty soon and the question is ricky why would you be selling these parts uh, on your website. So first and foremost, I'm gonna give you guys a price point for everything that you guys have seen throughout this series that you guys may have loved or not loved. The QV, uh, I'm sorry, <clears throat> the GTM style fenders and carbon fiber will be listed at $1,500 with shipping. And the way that we got our price points is we got the price point that they're selling, the manufacturer is selling it to every average consumer at, was shipping to New York, was shipping to California. We took the highest price point um, and all the fees and everything that you would pay, and we pretty much got a standardized price. That's the $1,500, no haggling, straight to your door, shipped. Takes 60 days from the day you place the order to the day you should arrive to your house because it is made to order. There's no canceling what you purchase. That is for the $1,500 for the front fenders. The hood, I think we have a price at $1,950. That price may come down. Um, it just depends on where our set price is with them. Right now, I think it's a little bright. It's $1,950 that we have the, the, the front hood for. We have the rear over fenders that are not on this build listed at $700. Again, that is shipped to your door. Again, if you wanted to buy the front and rear bumper, I don't have official pricing on that. It should be somewhere around 1500 for each one of those shipped to your door, but you would have to message us in order for us to build that order. And if you wanted to buy a whole bunch of it, the whole kit, just like we did, you would actually get it for a cheaper price than what we paid for, and that would be shipped to your door. Um, again, these are all pieces individually shipped. So if you wanted to build a custom order with build, buy a whole bunch of stuff, make sure you email us so we can put a whole bunch of stuff together to get you a better rate. Now you're gonna say, Ricky, how do you make money or why would you do this? I'm gonna answer both those questions. The way that we make money is we actually got a reduced cost from what they would be selling it for because we bought such a large order with them and we've actually purchased, a few more people have bought through us. Um, so we actually got them to understand that we are gonna be a reseller. It knocks us down um, to, to a wholesaler or retail rate. Now, you, why am I giving you guys this information? Why do you guys really care? Because I don't want you guys to ever assume that we're not transparent with you guys or that we are giving you guys the best deal um, that is out there. Um, so that's what we're trying to do. We're trying to give you guys, still support us, but still get the prices that you want at the same rate, if that makes sense. Are you guys following? Am I following? You make sense. Okay, I'm making sense. <laughs> Uh, it makes sense to me because I've said this a million times in my head, but uh, hopefully it makes sense to you guys. You guys are, it's the same thing that you guys would typically pay through them. Now for whatever magical reason that they gave you a phenomenal deal, 
send it to us and we'll see if we can price match it for you guys. We are not here to replace any retailer. You're not gonna see us selling headlights on our website. You're not gonna see us selling any OEM parts that aren't reused or something that we've tried on our car. We're not here to replace somebody like Alfisimo. Um, they are the number one place for OEM and a lot of aftermarket parts. We're not gonna be selling any tunes. <laughs> We're not trying to replace your compulsion squad, your ideal. We're not trying to replace anybody like that. One of the biggest things that we've uh, noticed from doing this for the last three years is people don't know where to go to buy Chinese parts, Chinese replica parts. We're trying to make a number one, your number one shop to buy those parts from a retailer that you guys are familiar with, which is us. We've already done the hard work. We would have done the price negotiation. We already figured all the hard work out for you guys. All you do, they don't even have a website. So all you have to do is come to our website. You guys have guaranteed, you know, if this day something goes wrong, we'll refund your order, replace your order. We'll go fight with them on the back end. We are the, we are, we're trying to make a safe place for you guys to buy replica parts, just like we do on this channel at the same price that you would buy it from them with somebody that you guys trust and know. Now, with that being said, this may hurt some companies that sell Chinese parts. Um, we know that because somebody's already sent us death threats. Um, a retailer, uh, I'm not gonna mention any names, they're overseas, uh, direct messages and pretty much threatened our lives uh, <laughs> over Chinese parts. Um, I think it's, it's becoming apparent um, that we are trying to be transparent with you guys, trying to keep you guys informed about everything that's on the market, right? Um, used parts, new parts, where you can buy certain things, even from China, right? Uh, and it's pissing certain people off because they feel like we're taking from their mouths. Um, so I'm not gonna mention any names, I'm not gonna get into the drama of that, but just know that we are giving you guys such a fair deal and keeping you guys so informed that it's making people upset. Clearly so. If I was making hundreds of, hundreds of dollars on the back end and not telling anybody, I would be a little upset if somebody ruined that process for me too. Right? It shouldn't get death threats. Shouldn't though. get death threats, no. <laughs> it's a little excessive. No, 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 let me rephrase. <laughs> there never should be a point where we get death threats. Um, but yeah, there is a retailer. Again, the only people that we have purchased from and that we approved, I'm gonna list them off. Alfisimo is our number one. Um, uh, Ideal is our number two. Euro Compulsion number three. Uh, C12 Performance is one of the last ones. Um, anybody else, um, we have no affiliation with, we never purchased through anybody, and we cannot give our stamp of approval. If you're not a company that you heard your name, there's nothing against you guys. We just have never done business with you guys. Um, and before we do that, we have, to, we have to buy a product ourselves and test it ourselves. So what's next in this step for us? Um, we have to go pick up the headlights and the rear bumper from Eric all the way in San Marcos, which will be next video. Um, and we'll, us dropping this off at paint, so that's it. We're taking it to paint and we'll get it back. So um, it won't be done once we get it back from paint because we still have to put uh, the, the, the side skirts on, we still have to put the rear diffuser on. So it's not gonna be done, but it'll be done in the sense of the paint status. Does that make sense? Makes sense. Um, and we're gonna jump into other stuff. I know this wasn't the install you guys were looking for, um, hopefully this doesn't feel like clickbait because it wasn't. <laughs> we're just giving you real information because I know you guys were waiting for this bumper. Uh, but anyways, uh, on the, to a funner topic, we will be doing Vlogmas. If you guys haven't been on our Instagram, go to our Instagram and go ahead and put uh, in the ideas section what you guys think we should do for Vlogmas because a lot of people have given some really good ideas. Mm -hmm. um, somebody said 100,000 miles with Alfa Romeo. That's a good one. Uh, Euro Compulsion versus Ideals Intake. That's a great one. SWG Bypass. Uh, what else do we have? Zero to Times. Zero to sixty times. Um, new mods for Alpha beginners. That was so a good one. That was a really good one. Great. Thank you to that person. <laughs> um, but if you guys don't want to go to our Instagram, put it down in the comments down below. If you guys do want to see it, how long the video should be, because we can do up to ten. I mean, ten is really ten, all I want to go. Is, ten, ten is the max. <laughs> but we can do a lot shorter video, like four minute videos, uh, five minute videos, whatever you guys are looking for. Um, and if you guys really want to see us do it, because it's a lot of work. I don't know if you guys remember last year, we worked ourselves to the bone. Stressed. <laughs> to get that, to get, and we didn't even do all 25 days. <laughs> no, we didn't, still stressed. Um, so let us know in the comments what you guys want to see through that. Um, most likely be more informative. Somebody said air suspension. I mean, I get it, dog. <laughs> I want air suspension That'd be too. cool, but. <laughs> well, I can't drive like 10 grand on the car <laughs> during Vlogmas. It's not gonna make sense. <laughs> 
hopefully you guys enjoyed the video if you guys have any questions um, if you guys want to pre-order the strut bars or if you have any questions about the kit feel free to email us we'll give you all the clarity that you guys need um, you guys can go buy the certain products uh, like i said on the website now today if you guys want to and hopefully you guys enjoyed this video i know it's not what you guys wanted to see i know you guys want to see the diffuser but i promise you it'll be worth the wait to get a proper one so anyways hope you guys enjoyed this video there's a lot of people outside we gotta go um, we'll see you guys in the next one <laughs> Hey, <laughs> bye. <laughs>